Hello and welcome to a new trip report. Today I'm in Buenos Aires, Argentina and I'm going on a special trip. I will take a boat starting in Buenos Aires in Argentina, crossing the Rio de la Plata and ending up at the city of Colonia de Sacramento in Uruguay. This was a day trip at the time I visited Buenos Aires in September 2019. As you can see, it is very early in the morning. I took a taxi from the hotel to the harbor. It was so early, the lights in the terminal still were switched off. The check-in was the same as at an airport. After check-in, I had to go through passport control. I had to leave Argentina and enter Uruguay, here in the terminal. I don't remember the price that I paid, but I remember that it was very affordable. I had the choice between two destinations, the capital of Uruguay in Montevideo is about 3-3.5 three, three hours away and Clonia de Sacramento is only 1-1.5 one, one hours away, so it was a no-brainer for a day trip. The terminal had a cafe, some seating areas and a little shop. I found out that I could have slept half an hour, an hour longer, but okay, I'm early as always. There were quite a lot of people going with this ferry today. My ship today is a catamaran with the name Francisco. After boarding I decided to go to the reception desk and buy an upgrade for business class. The price for the upgrade was very very affordable. The business class is in the front of the boat. As you can see, they even have a small duty-free shop. The difference between economy class and business class is not huge. It is quieter here, there are less people, the seats are a little bit better and you get a coffee and a snack. Business class was quite empty, so I got a nice seat at the big window. The ride over was uneventful, you only cross a big area of water, there's nothing much to see, so I didn't film it. After arriving in Colonia del Sacramento, nobody could wait to leave the ferry. Since the immigration procedure has been dealt with in Argentina, uh, I don't have to go to passport control here. People who had checked in luggage had to get the luggage like at any airport. Every passenger had to go through a security check where both hand luggage and luggage got through an x-ray. Finally, I'm really in Uruguay and after avoiding all the people who wanted to send me taxi drives and bus tours, I went out to explore the city on my own. I did rent an e-bike for exploring the city after I did a basic walk in the beginning of the day. Let's give you some basic information about Colonia de Sacramento. 
Colonia del Sacramento is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is one of the main reasons tourists come here to see the old town. The population of the city is about 21,000, so it's not the biggest city. I'm soon done with talking and you can enjoy a bike ride to the historic city of Colonia de Sacramento. The most interesting part here is of course the old town with its old houses, a lot of them Portuguese, the old city gate and you can also find some nice museum galleries and some nice cozy restaurants here. When I traveled here I was surprised that the prices for example for restaurant visits were quite a lot higher uh, compared to Argentina. So the best advice is to check everything before you travel. But now I will stop talking, you can enjoy my bicycle ride through the old town and parts of the new town of the city. And I had so much luck with the weather. Thank you. 
After a beautiful day, it's now time for me to return to Buenos Aires. I used another company on the way back in a smaller boat, but the time is the same and the price was also the same. If you come to Buenos Aires and you can spare the time, I totally recommend you to take the boat trip over to Uruguay and visit Colonia de Sacramento. It's a beautiful small city. I will leave some links to the ferry companies and information about the city of Colonia de Sacramento in the video description below. All that is left for me to do now is to thank you for joining me on this trip today. I hope you've enjoyed this trip report. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, this would be a perfect time to do so. Thanks for watching, see you on my next trip report. And until then, live with no excuses and travel with no regrets. See you all.